Hi, today we'll use FlexiBeats to chop up a drum loop and create a new pattern with the slices. First we open the drum loop in the first channel and have a listen to it. Now we press the edit button and navigate to the bottom of the panel that opens and enable the slicer. I'm leaving the sliders of the slicer which control the slice points at the default positions. Now when we press the render button, the slicer identifies the individual hits of the loop in the waveform time view with a red vertical line. If you click on the waveform regions between the red vertical lines, you can preview what each slice will sound like when the loop is chopped. What happens is that the from and to playback sliders automatically adjust to the waveform section that you click. What I'll do to demonstrate is put the loop into repetitive playback and I'll click on two marked sections of the waveform and show how the from and to playback sliders adjust to the section and we hear that sound. Let's say that after previewing the slices in this way, we now want to actually chop the loop, which will non-destructively add new WAV files titled Sliced1, Sliced2, etc. for each of the slices into the data folder. You can see that they are currently not there. In order to chop the loop, we press the Do It button of the slicer. Done. Now we see the slices show up in the data folder. Here they are. You can now open up each one of these slices in a channel and sequence them. In order to save time, here's a sequence I prepared earlier. I'm loading a two measure pattern I created with the slices. Once the file is loaded, you'll see all the slices in individual channels. This file also loads the original loop into the first channel so I can toggle playback between the original unsliced loop and my new pattern. I'll play the new pattern, switch to the original loop and back again. There's of course nothing stopping you now from editing each slice sound, changing the tempo of playback and so on. Please see the help PDF for more information on how the sliders of the slicer affect the slice points.